Life Floss Tube. I'm Nancy. And I'm Laura. And we are the Addicted Sisters. sisters. Woohoo! <laughs> this is a picture of our three brothers back in 1952. And they're building a snowman. Do you see that snowman? <laughs> the dog is down there by Chuck. Yeah. And then they used a stick for the mouth and then rocks for the eyeballs. <laughs> Eddie still has hold of a stick. Does he? Yeah, yeah. He's probably trying to do the arms now. Yeah. So, <laughs> Very anyway, cute. Mom was probably out there helping him. Yeah, because it was a little too tall for Chuck even. Yeah. And when the boys were younger, I think Mom went outside. Yeah, um, she did. Mom was 40 when I was born, <laughs> so yeah. it was uh, a very different childhood for me than for them, mm -hmm. but not not in a bad way, just she was in a different place right. as an adult. I mean, right. I, I, you know. I felt very different from 20 to 40. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> 40 to 50 and 50 um, to 60. And... <laughs> we are restarting this video because... Uh, because the phone rang and it cut us off. And we weren't very far, so we just Thank decided goodness. we'd start over. So now it'll sound a little funny to us because we've already said things. Yeah, and they're not going to be flow as naturally as they yeah. did the first time. So we'd like to welcome you to our Floss Tube number 51. Can't it is it. February 16th, 2019, Saturday. Back to our normal day again. And remember, we'll give you a reminder now that we will not be filming next weekend. Right. We are hosting a local retreat, and it's happening next we weekend. We are otherwise engaged. Yes. So. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate that you spend your time with us. We get comments on that, too, that uh, you spend your Sunday or Saturday afternoon with us, and we love that. We love <laughs> it. And um, <clears throat> I saw this week... That Michelle, Bendy Stitchy, Michelle Garrett, Michelle G, right? Bendy mm -hmm. Stitchy, mm -hmm. Michelle mm -hmm. G, Bendy. So I can, can never think how it's set up. I just know who she is and that I love her and that I watch her. Everybody else does too, so. Yeah, but she had her 96th floss tube video. Oh, my. She does a lot of stitching with me, too. But it's not so. that. Oh, she She calls like, them something else. Oh, okay. This is floss tube number 96. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations, so, Michelle. And she said that when she hits around 100, around okay. 100, okay. because she has life happening, yeah. that she will do some sort of giveaway. Oh, fun. So. Watch for that. Like, you know, like you need another excuse to watch right. Michelle. Right, right. Not. We all watch Michelle, right? So we had a lot of fun with your comments and questions. Our question of the week last week was, what's your favorite gadget, gadget. Um, or accessory? What's your must-have gadget or accessory? Do you think I walked out the door with anything? I can show you one, and somebody even asked about this. Karen's Keepsakes asked, where do you get the clips? So this is a clip that I use, and I use it to, uh, I don't want to show you right now, yeah. to take my piece of fabric, I can show you on this one. To There's take my, another clip. Yeah, there is, because I use them. Uh-huh. So you take your piece of fabric, and um, I'll fold this one in half, and then you won't see anything that I want you to. And you roll it up to where you need to be. And then you just use the little clip and clip it on, and it'll hold it. So if you're an in-hand stitcher, that's a great thing. Yeah. Maybe even if you are a, um, a um, like a Q-snap stitcher, you could roll it in to hold. I know that you guys, if you use grime guards, you put your fabric in there. Maybe it yeah. would be nice to have it rolled and clipped like yeah. that, too. That I might, don't know. I don't help. Yeah. Since I don't use grime guards, you guys would have to tell us if yeah. that's true. You'd have to be the expert on that one. But um, Karen's Keepsakes ask, where do you get the clips? Well, my clips came from Joann's with a coupon, but they're all this color. This size. they are. So each size <coughs> has its own color. Mm -hmm. So this size, which is a nice size for me with my sewing, which is really what we bought them for, um, they all come in red. And there is nothing wrong with red, but we all know what my favorite color is. Blue. 
and red together. Purple. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I am just ah, like 90. I'm yes. one half of the equation. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? I'm just 90% of the, of the way sure. See, she got me distracted <laughs> and I'm like, I can't form a thought. I am 90% sure that you can order those on Amazon yeah. and you will get them in a multicolor pack, yeah. even purple. I think we looked those up one time and they were. So um, I need more clips. I mean, of all the craziness, the way that I, that I do business now when I'm sewing, I need more clips. I have to stop partway through and get more clips. <laughs> finish up or whatever. Yeah, well, I have to yeah. use up everything that I've clipped so that I can go back and clip a bunch more. Yeah. So, um, and speaking of when I'm sewing. Wait, so my favorite oh, gadget. sorry. Because this is not the order we did things in before, <laughs> no. so I'm like totally out. That's on the back. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's somebody's button from one of these. My favorite gadget is needle minders. I just, I love them. I if I don't have one on, and I wear mine. If I don't have one on, I'm jabbing myself with that yes. dang needle. So those are just a few of the ones I have. I have more in my bags, my project bags. But and this is how Nancy stores them. Laura gave me this one. Laura gave me that <laughs> one. I stole that one before Laura could get it. She stole this one. It is purple before I could get it. <laughs> it's a butterfly. I love butterflies. And I don't. So I found this piece of galvanized metal at Hobby Lobby, and it hangs up on my um, bookshelf over there that I have all my stuff on, and that's how I, that's how I store them. I didn't bring um, my needle minders with me, but I have posted before that I keep them all on my lamp post, which is the rocking stitcher said that her favorites are needle minders on her lamp right next to her. And she had the best quote of the week. It goes on the back of this because it's one of... Well, that's what I was... That one's got a little thing on it. Then it goes on... Because... Oh! No, I bought that at the store, so that's Kathy. Okay, anyway. I bet it goes with the bud. Anyway. Bird. With the bud. It goes with the bud. I'll do it like that. I'm anyway, sorry. the rocking <laughs> stitcher. Rude. Anyway. Said she anyway. likes needle binders, and she keeps them on her lamp, and I do too. They're all right next to me. But she had the best quote of the week. Yes. I'm surprised the couch is still considered a safe place, because it's basically a pin cushion. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't drinking when I read that, because I would have spewed. That was hilarious. That was perfect. So, oh, and I want to say something else about our comments. Uh, one stitcher replied to another stitcher in our comments. Oh, cool. That was wonderful. You guys should read each yes, other's comments. That's, and that's what I was going to say. Questions. I'm always hoping that everybody reads through because it's such a community and mm -hmm. there are so many cool comments and and that's how you connect i mean yeah. we get to connect with you guys <clears throat> naturally every right. week right but you don't get to connect with each other so if you see something there and you want to comment or you want to ask that person if they want to have a conversation set it up yeah. down there yeah don't feel like we're going to be offended that mm -hmm. you did that on our channel or whatever no, no, that's what we hope you do. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if you ask us a question that would be helped by, like if you ask us if there are shops in Des Moines, we're going to come on here and say, hey, who knows yeah. of shops in Des Moines? <laughs> and then you guys are going to have to read what's below, and there are going to be a ton of right. answers. Absolutely. And um, We hope there's a ton of yeah. answers. And maybe what we can do is kind of start that discussion, and one of us could post a comment right away that says, where are there shops yeah. in Des Moines? And you guys would just all reply and talk. We're going to figure it out. A thread. Okay, so the other one that was fun is that Linda Craig said, I didn't know that you were love, love You More Studio. I think I just thought that because <laughs> I show you sleeves every week that you guys know that I'm Love You More Studio. Well, and I think you mentioned it when you first started showing sleeves a long time ago. Yeah, 
But, so. but I have evidently overlooked that. Okay, so Nancy and I are not Love You More Studio. No. This is my family's business. So myself and my daughter, Katie, who does a lot of the design work and makes really cool wood marks, and we send a free bookmark with every sleeve, although we've had so many orders lately that we're out. And Katie said that she had ordered the new ones, and she didn't realize it, but there had been a question that came back about the the oh, next bookmark. Oh. So she's answered the question, and they're going to come in, and really, you guys may all get bookmarks because there's been so much snow. But anyway, I am one half, of, or one part. Then my <clears throat> husband, Jeff, and my son, Brendan, also work and help with Love You More Studio. So I brought three sleeves. I brought three <laughs> sleeves this week because of um, our weather. We had, Katie and I planned weeks, and we planned floral week. We had yesterday no snow when we got up. Right. And it started somewhere around 10 o'clock up here. You were downtown. Do you know what time it started? Yes, ma'am, I do. It hit Lenexa at 8.30. And it was to the building by 9.30. Okay, yeah. And then it started up north. I was at a professional development day at school. And we saw it all of a sudden coming down. And it looked like rain. It was yeah. coming down that fast. It was so heavy. I couldn't see the building across the street. It um, was white. White out. And before it was... And it, it snowed until up here. It snowed until about two, somewhere between 2 and 3. It was not 3 o'clock. It wasn't that late, but it had really tapered off. But we got somewhere between 3 and 6 inches of snow all across the metro area. It actually continued to snow. You just didn't see it as much. It was very light because we were out. I drove. I got off work at 3.30. It took me an hour to drive north. I went, picked Eric up, went to Walmart and got Jamie. And so that was just right about 5 o'clock, and it was still snowing, light, and it snowed. We went to dinner. It was still snowing. <laughs> I mean, it, I was inside. It looked, if you looked outside, I'm not sure you would have seen it unless you looked at something dark. Mm -hmm. you know? My professional development was supposed to be an all-day thing, and when I got there, for our 8 o'clock start yesterday morning, they had already decided they were letting us go at 11 o'clock. Oh, good job. Because they knew it was going to be good bad. Job. Now, when I went out to my car, um, I took the brush. Here's how hard it was coming down. I took my brush, my scraper brush, mm -hmm. and I all I had to do was brush off the car. I didn't have to scrape because it was that kind of snow. So it was and, light. It was yeah. light. Um, but by the time I got all the way around my truck... Yeah, it was covered again. <laughs> um, but I was able to use my wipers. And in fact, on the way home, I did not have to use my front wipers, even though it was snowing hard. Mm -hmm. But the back had to keep going. Yeah. So, because yeah. it was blowing that way. But um, I had to, I have to tell you real quick, we went to Senor Tequila's mm -hmm. for dinner. So, really good Mexican up here. But um, I had Eric call first to make sure that they were open because we've run into that, you know, mm -hmm. places closing. So she's like, yes, we are. There's nobody here, so I'm not sure how long we'll be open. We're like, okay, we're on our way. We pulled in and parked and got our drinks and then 10 cars. <laughs> One right they after just the needed other. somebody to yes. be in the parking yes. lot. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I was going to tell you, Katie and I decided to do Floral Week, and we released 11 different patterns this week. And we've already sold out of some. I mean, it's amazing. We sell out in just a few hours. That's a happy problem to have. Yes, it is. I mean, it makes a lot of work for me um, when we have 11 fabrics and I have to get a sample ready yeah. so that we can put them up. And Katie has to take pictures and Katie stages. If you look at the photos on loveyoumorestudios.com, and that's down below, if you look at, this, at the pictures... Katie takes those pictures, and she just recently decided she's not happy with the old pictures, so she's got a new setup, and so we're getting new pictures. <laughs> and what we did not realize, okay, on Etsy, when um, something sold out, the public could no longer see the listing. Oh. 
We're not on Etsy anymore. We're on Shopify. We still get people who like us on Etsy. <laughs> I've cracked up. There's nothing going on there. Oops. But you like it. But anyway, so we are on our own website now through Shopify. They don't clear those off. So um, Katie's, Katie's partner that she works with um, said, Love You More Studios is always sold out of so much stuff. <laughs> and... It made Katie realize that the public's the public can still see view, public view um, everything that's there. Yeah. So she went through and removed all of those sold out listings, and so you are not going to see a ton that's of a sold out things. That's it is a lot of work to do that to keep up with that. Well, and I think she counted, and we still have seventy or eighty listings. Oh, good God! Mm -hmm. No wonder you're crazy all the time. <laughs> I'm always sewing. <laughs> always. I can sew straight lines like nobody's business now. <laughs> a year ago, I couldn't say that. <laughs> it had been so long since I'd used my machine <laughs> that I seriously couldn't sew a straight line. Oh, God. Now it's like not a big deal. I'm like, oh, yeah, zoop, zoop, we're done. Yep. Um, anyway. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, what do you want to tell me? Nothing. It, it wasn't going to, it was not. No, go. Okay, so I brought three to show you out of the 11. <laughs> the first one's called Moonlit Garden, and this is a that. fabric by Rifle Paper Co. Rifle Paper Co. has some beautiful patterns. Love them. But their florals <clears throat> are amazing. When you told me, when I first looked at that, I thought, mm, yeah, that's okay. But then you told me the name, and I was like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Moonlit Garden. We also have one that's in that um, mango-y pink that's kind of an orangey pink. And we called it Hibiscus Garden. And it is really, really pretty as well. And it's got a foil inside. Ooh, I this love one, foils. Yeah. Well, they got rid of them. <clears throat> oh. This one has a really pretty teal ombre with gold sparkles inside. Kind of looks like the stars. I like to do this, you know, and let you see inside so anyway there's that one and then um i love nancy helped me out this morning because i was like what in the world help me lavender she oh we just got another order <laughs> lavender is a flowering <clears throat> herb and i like both the flowers and the herb i love mm -hmm. i love the, the oils scents. that mm -hmm. you can make from it and yes the scent is wonderful Lavender is a really good herb because it it's calming. It is a cure all for a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and Katie knows how much I love lavender. Nancy's picking hair off of me. It's behind this thing. I didn't think you were going <laughs> um, Katie knows how much I love lavender, so she has decided to call this one Lara's lavender for me. That sweet. And inside is this really pretty stripe, and you can see it's got a nice pattern to it. I just love it. I like that. I, I like think, the combination real well. I feel like it's very, I mean, it really makes me think of like how lavender is packaged yeah. a lot of times. Yeah. It's just... I, do you see me stick my hand in? I, I like to feel these. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, and they're squishy. So these are for, I sometimes we'll get asked, these are for um, books or devices, or if you're Michelle G, then they're for your cross-stitch patterns and projects. She puts everything in them. And I will tell you, I shove things in mine. I carry one at school. The kids yeah. love to see what I carry. I got asked recently, do you just pick one that coordinates with your outfit? Uh. Well, I may have that many. <laughs> so the last one I'm going to show you, we decided we didn't have very much red in our shop. And one of my friends, one of our friends, really likes red. So we kind of went on the lookout. Not We didn't go out of our way, but we were more aware of the reds. Yeah. And we saw this at a quilt shop, and I fell in love. And, of course, Nancy and I, we think about the Wizard of Oz, and Nancy and I would say, Poppies. And Katie said, Mom, they can't hear inflection on the website. Well, if she'd type it out, Poppies. <laughs> so she uh, <laughs> decided she would call this Field of Dreams. Isn't that pretty? And there is not a bit of glimmer to this. This is all just the design work that makes it show. I noticed this one looked yeah. almost shimmery. 
but I love this. And it's got kind of a mottled background in there. And inside are these cute little gold ladybugs on red fabric. It's a little matchy-matchy for us, but the ladybugs were so cute we had to do it. They have to go. We like to coordinate and, and get things really in. And they really pop out the gold in the center of the flowers. Mm -hmm. They really did. I mean, this fabric, wow. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, I mean, I think last week I showed you that we were doing our restock. And we did it after you and I did our thing because we had to yeah, wait for Katie yeah. to get better. She was like not, no voice, no nothing. And we restocked three and we had a partner for each of the others. And one of them was <laughs> Save the Bees, that black bee fabric. Love that. Oh my God, I love that. Well, it sold out within just a couple hours. And we decided, okay. They like it this much we're gonna get some more because it's obviously still selling there's still people who want it mm -hmm. and we're very much about if you really are wanting it we're gonna go find it for you and it's it's yes we need to we need to sell these and make the money from them but our thing is that we want a relationship too and we want mm -hmm. we want you to be happy so we went looking it is gone forever that's what it said on Missouri Star Quilt site. It's gone forever. I'm like, oh, just kill me now. Yeah, because that was gorgeous fabric. I loved it. And they put it out in a um, white writing on a yellow background. And it, it was a paler yellow background maybe. And it just wasn't. Yeah, I wouldn't think that would be as. It wasn't as eye-catching. And I mean, we looked online. We looked on Etsy. We, we Googled. We found the designer name. We work when we are trying to find. We will find you something. And we will spend way too much money getting it in yeah. to get it for you. It's, it's gone. Nobody has it. Because it's just fabulous. <laughs> However, I want to say something to you. After I, I got all of the orders ready, I found one sleeve still made. Oh my God. Now I need to go back and really, really, really double check it. But I found one sleeve still made. Wow. You're lucky you have one. And, uh, oh, I have a big one. <laughs> When we bought the second time, I said, you buy enough that I can make myself a full size. And she did. And, I mean, we sold everything. We bought, like, two more yards. That makes a lot of sleeves. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Michelle G., guess what? If we don't need that sleeve, Katie Landis said, oh, send it to Michelle to auction off. So, Michelle, you may have... A save the bees sleeve coming your way. Wow, I hear her going, Woo! <laughs> and you know, okay, so I think I said when Katie and I made our stories that that reminded me of one of our friends. And who it reminded me of, there are a couple of people that I've watched on Floss Tube, and I saw it and I'm like, oh, this just makes me think of them. Well, the first one is who? Bees. Come on, bees. Donna Ray Barrow. Oh, oh, absolutely. And the other one is Lynette from um, Homesteading on the Home Front. Um, Lynette had to give up her bees when they went to Guam. Oh. And okay. now that they're back stateside, they are setting up oh, okay. beehives Good. again. They're just Good. getting some things <clears throat> in. And, but, you know, I, when I see things like that, it makes me think of different people. We have some Michelle fabric coming up. That, Do you? Oh, yeah. We even have a <laughs> sleeve called Bendy. Oh. So. That'll be interesting to see. Uh, we've got so much fun stuff coming up. It's I could talk all day about it, but I don't need to. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So the other one, I think... We haven't done that yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, the Ivy House crafter, um, was telling us that one of the, the devices, one of the gadgets. accessories, mm -hmm. gadgets that she uses is that she bobbinates her floss. And when she gets to the end of it, she uses a crochet hook 
So she keeps that with her stitching stuff, and she uses it to tuck in the ends on her bobbins. I think that's a good idea. That's a fabulous tip. Thank you, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. So. Very cool. Anyway. Um, did you already do that? Yep. Okay. I did, right? I don't know. See, we did this the first time, and I'm not sure. Yeah, because I said that my... Needle minders are mine, and that's why we talked about okay. yours. Okay. We had to tell you, I mean, that quote was yeah. hysterical. Yeah. Pin cushion couch. Did we? Okay, we'll just say it again. So the rocking stitcher said, I'm surprised the couch is still considered a safe place because it's basically a pin cushion. That's hilarious. <laughs> we loved it. So if we didn't say it earlier, we said it in the first video, and now I'm confused. I know. I can't remember what we did and didn't do. Yeah. So, and so many of you commented that you loved our giggling. We giggle all the time. We're yeah. sisters. Yeah. We've got that thing going on. Yeah. And there are times when, like, it's hard when we're on here because, you know, like, I can see her <laughs> on there. And I have to just really try not to look at her. Now, the thing that helps me is that I have really good near vision. And with my glasses on, things are not always real yeah. clear on that screen. Yeah. So I may not catch all those micro expressions. Every time we talk about that, though, I'm, I'm always reminded of when we used to play Pictionary with my mom and Jeff, my brother-in-law, mm -hmm. Laura's husband. And um, they would get so aggravated at us because we'd have some, you know, very intricate thing we're going to have to talk about and draw. And we draw two lines, and they go, oh, <laughs> I know what that is. Mm -hmm. And they would be so mad. How did you get that from that? You guys are cheating. You're telling each other what that is. Like, no. Maybe through sister <laughs> telepathy. No, we don't. Ooh, maybe we should play Pictionary at our retreat. Wouldn't oh that be fun? <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Yeah, really. Um, but yes, we love to giggle too. I mean, you know that they say that if you spend seven minutes a day smiling, you add, um, you add to your lifespan. Very good. I think at that rate, I'm never going to die. Cause like I, I smile a lot. Yeah. yeah. And it's something that people comment on. You're always smiling. You're always happy. You're always positive. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I am not a morning person. But I can smile at you in the morning. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not <laughs> and my mouth doesn't have to open. I'm not a morning person either. I mean, it's like I have to get up. I have to have my tea. I have to wake up a little bit. So maybe 30 minutes to an hour later, I'm good to go then. <laughs> but I have a guy at work that he doesn't watch these. But I'll come in, and I won't even get my coat off. Good morning, Nancy. How are you today? Oh. I'm like, Let's start. Be positive. <laughs> you know how I get to start my day? I go put my stuff down in my office, and then I get to go serve the kids breakfast. Like, oh. I mean, I don't serve their breakfast, but I get to give them their napkin and fork. Yeah. And Tuesdays and Thursdays are the bane of my existence because it is syrup day. Oh. Mm. Yep. And, oh, bless them. Thursday was... Um, was supposed to be a syrup day, but we had pastries with parents for um, Valentine's Day, and so we didn't we didn't have syrup. They gave them instead bags of little mini confetti oh. pancakes, so they had the sweet in them already. Nice. And we didn't have to nice. do so. Nice. But also, <laughs> that makes me think, and I don't think we've said this this time. Um. Ooh, there's another sale. <laughs> Um, the kids were fascinated because I wore yeah. brighter lipstick on Thursday. I wore what Nancy has on, and that's the wine bottle stuff yeah. that we talked about last week. So cute. And um, the kids all day, Miss Landis, you're wearing lipstick. And even the adults were like, ooh, that's a nice pop of color. <laughs> I'll wear lips, lip gloss, lipstick sometimes. Whoops. But um, normally it's more natural color. Well, that's what I, this week, just felt like dressing up a little bit more. And I wore a more natural color because I don't normally wear lipstick to work. I tend to chew on my lip and, you know, when I'm working and just eat it all off. So I'd be constantly re mm -hmm. reapplying. But I wore this and I noticed 
Michael didn't say anything. But Lolly, when she came to my desk, she was like, <laughs> and you know, would just kind of look, and she couldn't quite tell if I had it on or not. <laughs> That's always fun. My lips this week, uh, this color is Aria by Stila Cosmetics. Stila makes some really nice um, lip stain or, you know, mostly I use like the lip stain because I like it because I kind of chew mine off and at least there's something there yeah. after I chew it yeah. off. <laughs> that stuff stays on pretty well. Well, I don't like it getting on my cuff. Mm -hmm. I like for it to get, you know, to, for it to set and get dry. And yeah. we, Nancy and I were talking earlier that, you know, you should treat your lips before. So like I use my lip gloss, my what am I trying to say? Like, I like use Burt's Bees, yeah, like your chapstick or something. I use a lip primer or a chapstick first and make sure it's completely dry. And then I put my lip color on. And then throughout the day, because it's set, I can use my lip balm again over it. And you're not going to get, you'll get a little color, but not too much. Yeah. So. I just anyway. don't like it because it gets dry. Yes. Yes. So then we have one more cool comment, and we are way into this video because yeah. we're chatting now. I noticed we're twice as long this time as we are last time. <laughs> See what happens. We should never have to restart. Never restart. Sharon Wolfgang asks, Nancy, how are you liking your new house? I like it real well, Sharon. I like the upstairs really well. I, have, um, I still have to go in and do my kitchen because I've got all of my stuff in there ready to decorate, but... I've got to pull out the table. I've got to pull out, you know, the microwave stand. All of this stuff so that I can get back to the wall to get it hung up and decide how it goes. And you're temporarily having to store your washer and dryer that will move in here, yes. right? Yeah. So. So that's another obstacle to go around. But um, I did, over my last holiday break, I don't even remember, Christmas? I went in. Whatever that holiday <laughs> was. Redid my bathroom. So... Laura was saying she liked the color before. I, I thought it looked nice before, and it's because of everything that Nancy had up on the wall and what towels she put with it. Yeah, it was a neutral, and I thought it was brown. But when I painted my new paint on, it was actually green. And it makes sense now because I think every room in the house is green. Oh, except that purple room in there. That must be Mom. <clears throat> to talk to you, right? Yeah. Our like, mother painted the entire house inside and out a different shade of green. Yes. Now, so when I went to paint that one, I got to thinking about um, I wanted some, these old prints, these old rose prints. So there's the white one, and then this one is mixed with the pink and white, and then the pretty pink roses. Well, and everything I kept thinking of was pink, but I wanted a really dusty, dusty pink. And um, Jamie and I went out, and this is what I settled on. This one here in the middle. I don't even know what it's called now. Champagne blush. <laughs> but now in my bathroom, to me, it looks like it's this color. It is brighter. It's, you know, it's okay. I like it. I held it up. I held this little thing up against it, and it matches perfect. So that's what it's it is. It's just that it's tempered then by the yes. other two colors, huh? Yes. But, so, you know, I knew what I wanted to do. We're having a decorating class here. <laughs> so I had these three prints, which I have a long wall, and I decided I wanted these two prints to go with them. I love those. I You've had too. those for a while, I've right? I've had them forever. But I really like those. And of course, mm -hmm. you know, when you fill one section in, then you have another hole along the bottom. So I had these two little mirrors, and I put those at the bottom. And you've had those for a while, too. Yes. I love those, too. Yeah. And that's for They're me. They're sweet little things. For me, that's what decorating is. You know, just like stitching. Move things around that fit you. And Nancy keeps thinking she's going to start a... Um, YouTube of her own that's all about decorating. So yeah. stay tuned to hear more about that. I think she just needs some time to be able to think about it. Yeah, and, you know, do I want to do a wall from scratch or do I want to, you know, redo or whatever, so. 
You guys had lots of favorite gadgets. We learned a lot this week. Yes. And, um, I mean, there were, have we already talked about that people talked? Mm -mm. See, I'm so confused now what we've told you. So somebody commented on another poster's comment and asked where she had found her gadget. We love that. Yes, please do that more and more and more. Mm -hmm. We don't think that all of that down below has to be for us. If no. you need to, because we have regular contact with you. This Floss Tube community is fabulous. You guys talk to us. We love it. And um, you should also feel free to talk to each other. Yes. And yes. build that community more. Mm -hmm. And if you see that somebody has posted something in there in your area, maybe ask them if they will private message with you and you guys can maybe get together and work that out. Because yeah. I know a lot of you are out there and you feel like you're the only stitcher in your area. Yeah. That would so. be hard. That would be hard to be that way. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, Floss Tube helps you quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But you never know who's your neighbor. And I love that so many of you say that you stitch along while you watch us. Yeah. I stitch along while I watch <laughs> other people. So, And I bet you do, too. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. I love it when people go, now look up. You're going to want to see us. Uh, hello. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much all that we were going to talk about in our comments. We do want to talk about our question for next week. Who's your favorite designer? I told Laura this is going to be really difficult for mm -hmm. me because I've got so many that I really enjoy and I just don't, I don't know if I can name one. And maybe something that will help you think about it is, okay, if you had to put yourself on automatic for one designer, so meaning you got every single pattern they came out with, who would your favorite be? And, you know, I don't care if you tell us a designer that is no, no longer designing. They love to hear their names, too. Yes, they do. And we've had comments from some and, and emails from some yeah. talking to us. So yeah. think about that one. Who is your favorite designer? And, you know, save that up, figure it out, and you'll get to tell us for two weeks because we won't be here next we week. We won't be here next week. So. Okay. I have a current finish. Woohoo! Now I have to tell you that I had great plans to finish this for Valentine's Day for Jeff, and then Jeff got sick and was home too much, and I couldn't work on it. <laughs> Darn him. <laughs> so I ended up finishing stitching this on Valentine's Day, so it is not fully finished, but Jeff loved this. And it's called Elements of Love by, oh, I should get our thing out. Of course, it's way back there. Yeah. Excuse me. Woo. I'm always afraid she's going to fall out of the chair when she's reaching. <laughs> I hold on to the desk. <laughs> anyway, it's called Elements of Love by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. There you go. And is that cute? I like the little eyeballs in the beak <laughs> Yeah. And um, Jeff got home on Thursday. He was working, delivering pizza, delivering heart-shaped pizzas. God. And evidently it takes longer to bake a heart-shaped pizza. Really? Yeah. Interesting. So he came in and he had had a busy, busy evening and he sat down and I gave him this. He just laughed. It was so fun. And he is the science guy at our house. <laughs> and he sat down. I said, those are real elements, honey. And he's like, oh. And, it, you know, like he knew, um, he knew a couple of them. But two of them are, um, I don't even know where they're grouped, but they're like the LU and the V are things that are not as uh, common. And they weren't on like the original element table. Gotcha. But he went out and looked them up and he just, he was so tickled. He's like, that's just perfect for me. <laughs> so I have to figure out what I'm going to do, how I'm going to finish that for him. But that's my finish. Yeah, because he might not want a pin cushion. <laughs> I did think I could make him a little pillow and it could stand up over there or, you know, but it, I, I, who knows? He may want something else with it. could make him a him. little flat and it could stand up. Yeah. I was trying to decide what I would do and, you know, fun, that means fun. I have to sew more than straight lines. Yes, it does. So, um, 
And we don't have any previous finishes here to show you this week. No. So next up is stash. I got a little stash from Miss Julie. Oh, oh okay. Golf, Gulf Coast, Coast Stitcher. Stitches. <clears throat> so I got, I'm trying to think what these are called. Pat. Needles. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Carson. <laughs> My favorite needle. So I like these. Do you want this? Well, it's on my red, so okay. they can see it. So it's got the gold top on it, the gold uh, eye. These things, I'm enamored with them. <laughs> they just slide through the fabric so nicely. So I am waiting for her to come out with a petite. A petite. So I got four of those, and then I got this little, it's a box, it's what, a storage box. And I think it's really cute. It's Mistletoe, Tinsel, and Jingles by Heartstring Samplery. Isn't that cute? That's cute. And they put real tinsel around this one, <laughs> which I think is fun. But I just thought that was a cutie. The little jingle bells. That would be fun to tuck in. Real bells, all right. Because yeah. we got some from Nancy Turner. Yes, we did. That are teeny tiny little ones, and they would be so cute mm -hmm. to tuck in there. Mm -hmm. So that's my stash. I did not get any stash this week, and and let me tell you, I needed that finish because I really said Nancy and I went shopping a couple weeks ago, and I am doing stitch from stash. Oh. Um, and I'm doing the I'm doing a couple of those groups because I was having a hard time figuring out where I needed to go. But um, I'm doing the group where you list, where you set a budget, and then you list your expenditures and you list your finishes for um, credits. So I needed a couple credits. Mm. Whip some plans, Nancy Nettle. How about you? Okay. This is all about me. It is. We may still make this before an hour. Yeah. So it's hard to see the timer because it's on the a fabric, fabric <laughs> that is lighter where the numbers are sometimes for me. Okay. Well, I am getting close here on my piece. Ooh. I'm working on Antique Scissors and Spools by Shakespeare's Peddler. So that's what I'm working on. And here is where I am this week. That's great. Look at the storks. Yeah, isn't it cute? So I've got two big scissors that are up in here facing each other and a little bitty heart. And then, um, see these two? Mm -hmm. A big pair that's open. And then the squiggle down the side and across the bottom and the word scissors and I'm done. That's awesome. So... She's not going to have it finished next week because Nancy doesn't stitch at retreat. She kind of does. A couple stitches. Well, I put 10 in last year. <laughs> I've been thinking of a fun thing to do for my stitching at retreat, and I'll tell you when we're off camera. Okay. Secret, I, secret, secret. Yeah. Um, magical stitches rules my life. <laughs> I think that's Michelle's hashtag. Yeah. So I have been doing things to try and um, do my, um, both my homework, well, both my homework and my monthly extra credit. And so I was really, really working hard. This week we had three, um, oh, turn off this to do this. Okay. This week we had three things to do. And um, we could choose two things. Oh, go away. I'm trying to make this all go away. I took it off airplane mode so that I could look. So hopefully, anyway. Hopefully the phone won't ring again. Because <laughs> we are 45 minutes into Yes, we are not starting again. I couldn't do that. And we're confused enough now. Can you imagine? We would we start, start again. I wouldn't have any idea what we had done, what we were doing, where we were going. Uh, events. That's what I want, not files. Year two, week three homework. Okay, so our homework this week was a project that you have modified in some way. Okay, let's start there. 
So I am doing Winter Cometh by Summerhouse Stitchworks. Winter Cometh by Summerhouse Stitchworks. And the way that I have modified this is that I am using different floss than what was called for. And fabric. Yes, different fabric too. So I made a huge push on this because I used it for another one um, and I'll have to read what that is. It's part of my yearly, or yeah, my yearly, my February extra credit. But I love this. You got a lot done there. And I want it done while it's still winter. I'm just, because yeah. I know I'm going to be sick of winter. <laughs> so I have that one. And the um, then the other one was a project that has a cat in it because Hermione turns into a cat in that book. And a project that has a ghost. I don't have any projects with ghosts. You have no Halloween. I have Halloween. I don't have any projects that have a ghost. That's what I'm saying. You don't have any Halloween that have ghosts in nope. it. Nope. Wow. Katie does. So if we can find that project, I may be stitching. Katie's like, I was telling her, I don't have any projects with ghosts. And she goes, Mom, I have one. She wants Mom to stitch it. So probably that will be happening. Um, the other one, that's my year two, week three, February extra stitching, extra credit stitching, uh, stitch 500 stitches on a project that just makes you want to moan and cry. And I said, I want to moan and cry because winter has come in full force. So I put in, you have to put in, you can't count them together. Mm. I put in 970 stitches oh this week on goodness. this one. Goodness. I had a ton, a ton of stitches on this. Um, and then the other one, oh, I used, it was stitch 500 stitches on a project that is sluggish, and I used my uh, Elements of Love, and I stitched 1,012 stitches oh, to finish wow. that one. Wow. So I counted 500 for that one sluggish. And then uh, the next one was one that was howling for attention. That was howling for attention because it was supposed to get done. And so I posted that. And just for fun, there's what it looked like before. Wow. So You did do a lot on that. I did. And then um, I did number six last night with Jeff. Watch Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets movie. Post a photo before the movie starts and your progress after. There's my before picture. And here I'm looking at the camera after you lay that down to see if I can see it. <laughs> so it's the work baskets carrot talk. And I am using this one is called Sweet Violets by Victorian Motto Sampler Shop. And I'm using um, 28 count cashel linen in prank. From picture this plus and I stitched and unstitched and restitched because you know I got busy because I was trying to do that the outline brother. of the carrot that looks good but that was I usually I say how many 364 stitches I put in during the movie and I used that as um, Oh, I used it on here, but I, oh, oh I know, the, uh, we had to protect ourselves from basilisk attack. So I used this as a house, we had to stitch 15,000 stitches. Oh my god! Which only works out to be about 100 stitches a stitcher. Oh, okay. So it's not bad. And um, the house with the most stitches by last night, and I haven't looked to see if they've named a winner, but the, the house that stitched the most... Um, gets bonus points. Oh. And then, oh, I told you, I had the one stitch on a project a with a cat. This is my Halloween bag, remember this? So, and I have some cute stuff in there. I knew immediately that I have Jumping Cat by Dames of the Needle. It says Dames of the Needle slash finger work. And this <coughs> is the craziest cat, and I am not to the cat yet. And that's okay, I didn't have to stitch on the cat. I just had to stitch on the project. Um, and before, it's really funny because I only had to do like 200 stitches. And um, 
I should just go back in there because I know that my picture is right there. So my before picture looks like this. You can kind of see some little faces in there mm -hmm. and some lines. And so what I concentrated on was this pumpkin over here. I put all his yellow parts in. I put his stem. I put the green stuff around him. And all of that... So do you see what I'm uh -huh. saying there? Uh -huh. So all of that totaled up to 235 stitches. <laughs> so they add up faster than you think. I mean, they do. I mean, it looks like you don't put very much yeah. in at all, but that's a lot of work. I mean, does that look like <clears throat> just doing this and the yellow bits and these green pieces? 235 stitches. I know people are like... They're getting worked up because they feel like it's daunting that you have to stitch yeah. all these stitches. I stitched on three projects last night, and I told you I stitched over a thousand stitches. If you have a good long stitching time, you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. um, this fabric, I should have told you about it. It's a Silk Weaver Solo. But this has kind of a pinky color in here. It is mm -hmm. a really pretty piece of fabric, and I am going to have a whole half of the piece left because I oriented mine, oriented mine this way, and I'll have that much left. Look at what that does to Nancy and I. That is not a good color for no. us, but I love it for this project. So that was my stitching this week. Stitching, you know, it's stitching and wearing are two different things. Yes. <laughs> yes, we both love fall stitching. And maybe it's because we can't wear. Probably. <laughs> so, um, I told you guys last week that my plan was to get Dance of the Tulips out and stitch on it. It didn't fit. Aww. Didn't fit in my stuff. I didn't even think about it. I left it behind. Um, and that's okay. Maybe I can say there's a ghost hiding in the, in the tulips. <laughs> Really, we can stitch anything we want because there's always an option to stitch double the amount of stitches oh. for penalty stitches. Okay, okay. So if I'm really, you know, I'll probably go home and see if I can find Katie's project mm -hmm. and stitch on it. And really, I only have to do two out of three. So I'm done. But if I do the other one, then I get bonus points for it. Gotcha. And my house did not win the first year house Aww. cup. The Slytherins did. <laughs> so we no were, we were kind of close. Is. Oh, are you wanting me to do those? Yeah, I'm just she's just looking at my little notes in here. We still have some hashtags going on. Nancy's birthday stitch along, Cinnamon Stars stitch along, and the Addicted Sisters. So use those hashtags. The other one is the Addicted Sisters Favorite Finish. You can put any of your favorites in there that you'd like to show us. You can put any finishes in there. We like to see things. Show us. <laughs> and We want to see. Yeah. We're <laughs> lucky, me, Luz. Show yeah, show us. Um, we wanted to talk for... So your plans are obviously to finish this. Yeah, I'd like to finish that up. I, You know, I've been stitching on it way too long already, but... This week, I had a couple days that I did not have lunches, so, you know. And speaking of finishing, we both have finishing to do, right? Oh, yeah. For our retreat oh, this coming yeah. weekend. Oh, yeah. I got to sit down at the machine and actually do that. Yes, me too. So our plans are really to be focused on the retreat that's coming up. We're really excited about it. and. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's more of our local group. I say local and some of them are traveling like three and four hours yeah, to get here. It's our cross borders group. So it's exciting and they'll, we're going to have so much fun with them. Yeah. It's our second one. But we wanted to talk to you about our big retreat, which is the show me retreat. Yes. Uh, it is July 11th through 14th, 2019 at the Drury Inn, Blue Springs, Independence. I don't uh -huh. know what they call it. We have the information linked. Um, we wanted to make a, a couple of announcements. Again, just reminders. Oh, Michelle, book your hotel. <laughs> you said it's always such a nice reminder. So I'm just going to tell you yeah. this week. Yeah. So the first thing you need to do is email us. 
your emailing is at theaddictedsisters at gmail.com and that's listed in the show notes mm -hmm. and tell us that you want to come to the retreat that's the first thing because we need a good contact yeah. for you and then you must pay your retreat fee that's up that's, that's 100 two. and that's 100 dollars that covers all the goodies right and right. it pays for the uh rental on the stitching room mm -hmm. so gotta get that um and then, <laughs> third thing, then we'll let you join the Facebook group. Well, that's four. You'll get... Um, oh, you'll get emails back on everything. Yeah, you'll get an email back giving you instruction on how to go to the Facebook page and locate it. And request members, or, you know, to be part of the group. And one note about paying your retreat fee. We are your friends. Yes. We're still having people who are not sending it that way, and we're getting a fee taken out of it. All that does is short you guys what we can spend yes. on you. Yes, it does. So so just use the friends and family option. You don't have to have an invoice. Mm -hmm. um, you just go in and you send money to your friend and family. Mm -hmm. Because if we send you a link, then it will take a fee out. Yes, automatically. Um, if you ask to join the Facebook group and I don't have a record of you paying your retreat fee, you'll probably get a message from Nancy that says, have you paid your retreat fee? Because you can't come in until you pay your yeah. retreat fee. Yeah. And it, I picture it as you guys standing at the door knocking. Yeah. <laughs> knock, knock. Can we come in? No. Do you have the password? Mm -mm. So you can't come in. Until you've paid your retreat fee. I hear you knock. <laughs> knock three times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to watch Tony Orlando and Don yeah. with mom and dad yes. at home. It's so funny. They loved all those variety shows. We watched well, we Sunny and some, Cher. We missed some of those, you know? Mm -hmm. They were just fun. Carol Burnett talked at the Oscars oh, about God. how okay. much it would cost to make her show in today's um, in today's world. Really? Yes, that it it will never be made. We will never have shows like that again because she had so many costume changes. She had so many uh, regular stars that were on it. They had guest stars every week. Yeah. I mean, she went through everything. It was so well thought out listening to her speech. If you can Google it and find her and listen to that, you should listen to how much went into their show because... You know, we just think it was such a cute, fun oh, show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I loved it. I still love to watch the reruns. Mm -hmm. You know? But Gosh. She talked about that it would just be an impossibility. So she feels like she was oh, very blessed to be alive at the time she was to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. So It's like Red Skelton. Yes. Oh, my mm -hmm. gosh. I liked him. <laughs> but anyway, retreat news. <laughs> we reminisce a lot. <laughs> Um, remember that we have some fun things planned. Yep, we're going to do a PJ party. So get out your PJs, scrub them up, make sure they're nice and pretty. And they need to be PJs. Yes. If you sleep not, on natural, not this. <laughs> that's not okay at our PJ party. I'm waiting for one of you to wear your peignoir set with your caribou slippers. Oh my and, gosh, yes. You know, the caribou trimmed robe. And I just, yeah, I'm waiting for that. I I can just see somebody walking in. That like would that. make my day. That would be great. Maybe we should shop for those. Oh. <laughs> Mine will be purple. Hers will be blue. And then we're also, we have to check with the hotel on this one. Yeah. But we're thinking that if things would work out, maybe we'll have a pool party. Um, so many of you were so supportive when I said, and nobody can laugh at me yeah. in my swimsuit. You guys <laughs> were so supportive. So I think... We should have a no body shaming pool party, and we're just going to go have a good time and get in the water and splash around. Yeah. I know that they make um, like pool t-shirts. The thing that you need to know is that a lot of pools are really being um, restrictive about it, and it needs to be a pool shirt oh. because your regular t-shirts, um, even though you can't tell, they will bleed and get into the pool. I didn't know that. Or I land went or something. Yes, um, but like the designs and yeah. stuff will yeah. come off. I didn't know that. I went to um, every third grader in my school anyway 
has to go take a swimming test. Okay. And they get to play in the pool for part of the time. Mm -hmm. And one of the lifeguards came over and said, hey, the kids can't wear them unless they're a pool shirt. Mm. So... Learn something new every day. Yeah, I'm like, there's such a thing. Okay. <laughs> so education is a fun place because it's amazing how much you learn. Uh-huh. Even from elementary kids. Huh. I shouldn't say it that way because no. we underestimate them. And they're great teachers and great ambassadors. So the other cool thing is that, remember, in Katie's stash, I found an unopened, so it's got to be pristine copy of Lady of the Flag. Man, man. And we know that's a lot of your all's unicorns. A lot. So you have to be at the retreat in order to participate in the drawing for that. Mm -hmm. And we're thinking that we will sell raffle tickets. Um, We've seen that a lot of the other bigger retreats have some prizes and they sell tickets. We're still working through that. Yeah, we haven't... We've been focusing on our small one to make sure that it is perfect for these ladies. And then next, we'll get to move to you guys and finish it up. That and show them what we're... No. You don't want to show the the box for these... Oh, you should see. The grand prize box is beautiful. It has butterflies. Because we don't know what we're doing for them. No, but I just thought we would show them how cool that looked. So, (laughs) anyway... Those are just a few of the things that we're doing. Nancy and I are, um, I've said this every week for like a month. We are planning a field trip. Mm -hmm. As soon as we are done with the other retreat and we have a little more time. Because when we finish our video, we work on the retreat. Yeah. So um, we're planning a field trip to go out and check out the facility fully. Right. One other thing I wanted to mention, we were talking about Lady the Flag. We are going to do the um, women's shelter. Yes. That's what it's for. Oh, yeah. yeah, we didn't go that far. Yeah. Go ahead. So uh, proceeds from that, not auction, but, you know, the drawing for that is going to go to raffle. a... Raffle. Huh? Is going to go to a local <clears throat> women's and children's shelter. And um, I just think it's important for us to share and it's important to support other other women. Yeah. Um, not that we don't appreciate you male stitchers. No. But, no. but as women, we feel like it's important to support other women and yeah. children. And, um, and just help boost them up. And situations. Mm-hmm. So, you know, this is to help. Help them. Mm-hmm. So... If, you know, we've, we've talked about how that will look and what we will do. And I'm sure as we get closer, we will flush that out more. How long did you count that we have until the retreat? You said how many months? Four. Four months. Four and a half months. Let's do this. You know, we can ask Google everything, mm-hmm. right? Oh, so yeah. Cancel that. How many days until July 11th? 145 days. Is that exciting? So, that's getting close. It's getting that's close. not very many. Mm-mm. 30 days each month. That's. Did you just get a little scared? Yeah. Because I kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> I we'll did, get I, it done. Don't we, worry about we that. We will, and you will have a fabulous time. Mm-hmm. We promise you that. It's just we may be a bit ragged by the time we get there. <laughs> So that that PJ party may be may turn into a sleep in for me. Yeah. And we are working on having um a massage therapist there. Yeah. And she's planning to bring some friends. Yes. I think the I think we're going to do uh chair massages there. So um it'll be just her. because we'll have to be able to set up and Yeah, and there's so many of you. So, you know, it'll be her and probably at least two more people. So Again, we'll flesh that out as we get closer. <laughs> we'll just have to see how that looks. Mm-hmm. That hotel is so accommodating. They may even have some good space for yeah, us. Or, mm-hmm. So, anyway, that is it. We've rambled long enough. I think we're over an hour, and we've yep. been doing good staying under an hour. But yeah. restarting is really confusing because then we don't know what we've said. Right, right. Our 
our uh, we're out of sync and you know our timing's off and <laughs> I knew where she was going. I was just letting her get there. Yeah. So um, I'll tell you that if you heard things more than once from us today, lucky you. Yeah. So because you guys don't like us to apologize for things, and no. so we're not going to. No. And I, I wonder why she kept looking at me. I pretty much left my hair alone this time, so because that's supposedly a big pet peeve. Uh, but I can't stand for mine to be in my eyes. No. So, anyway, until next time, she's Nancy. And she's Laura. And we are the Addicted Sisters. It'll be March when we're back. Happy oh stitching! <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>